Alan Dulles was a massive traitor who single-handedly saved Nazism and promoted fascism in Japan and Italy and Germany, brought the Nazi Hydra to the United States, helped the Nazis move their empire to Argentina uh, and all of their gold and, and so forth. So what we have in the United States today is financial, religious, and ideological traitors. Germany has been a vassal state of the United States since World War II, and Angela Merkel is one of the people that has been funded and promoted by the United States for a very long time. And she came out of East Germany. It's basically, we're destabilizing the world, we're creating massive amounts of fear, um, and we're spending all of our money on surveillance and control. The ultra-elite, which, which certainly leans toward neo-Nazi and even satanic influences, they think of us as expendable farm animals. We're nothing to them. Um, and they basically see profit from war as good. And they even like disease because the CDC is a massive scam. Most of these vaccines and most of these pharmaceuticals that we're pushing off and most of the stuff that we sell on supermarket shelves is just plain poison, but it's profitable poison. So we're treated as a money machine. We cannot trust the U.S. government. Everything coming out of the government is distorted uh, in one form or another, They're not really coming and being honest with anybody in, in the public anymore. You can't trust them at all. And you cannot, even the government, inside the government, they can't even trust what the intelligence agencies are telling them or, on, or what their law enforcement agencies are telling them anymore. They can't. They're distorting what, what's being presented in the courts of law. I mean, they're, they're just destroying all our founding principles. And I've been basically on, on uh, television saying that this is basically treason against the founding principles of this nation. And, uh, you know, I, I, we as people have to stop and say we, we're not going to tolerate this anymore. And if, they, and if they can't, if they don't start subscribing to getting back to uh, uh, the principles of, uh, of under, under the Constitution of, of personal rights by individuals, uh, then, then I think we need to fire everyone that's in, involved in that. I, and, and I would argue we need to fire everyone in D.C. right now because they have no common sense about how things are proceeding. They don't seem to understand the consequences of the things they're doing. I mean, it just seems that they're, they're, they believe, uh, for one reason or another, and I think it's because they're being bamboozled by the intelligence people, uh, that they have to do these things or else every, the, the, you know, the sky's going to fall, right? When, in fact, that's just an outright lie, and it's a distortion to try to manipulate people to do what they want, and they're falling for it. Well, sure. All of our politicians are falling for it. Sure. It basically says you will have no freedoms except those that we grant you. That's basically what their whole program is going to end up doing. We're becoming a, a very uh, effective uh, police state, much more than any other totalitarian state or system has ever developed.